Welcome back. This video is the fifth in the BTC Pay Server tutorial series. And in this video, I will create the Postgres service. I already created the Bitcoin D service, the NB Explorer service, and the BTC Pay service. And I'm going to create the Postgres service so that our stack will have some sort of an SQL database. Now, this database will be used solely by the BTC Pay service. And this database is essentially an old school web server database. It will only be used to store general information such as username, password, purchasing history, um, and so on. So I want to get back to my code and I'm going to start by creating the Postgres service. And as before, the container name should be similar, so Postgres as well. I want it to restart automatically, so restart, sorry, restart always. And as for the image file, I'm going to get it directly from the Postgres Docker Hub, and it's simply going to be Postgres version 965. 965, there we go. Now, from the diagram, as well as from our environment variable on the BTC Pay server, we can see that we should expose port 5432. There we go. Also in the environment variables for the BTC Pay uh, service. This will be the port by which those two services will communicate with each other. And finally, I should mount the data volume for the Postgres service, and it should simply be Postgres data, and I'm mounting this volume onto var lib Postgres SQL data. And there we have it. This is basically my Postgres service. Remember, this is a simple SQL database. It will be used by my BTC Pay server in order to store information, general um, information about usernames, passwords, emails, uh, purchasing history, and anything else that, that, um, that an online store might require in order to operate. So this is it. This is about the Postgres service. In the next videos, I'm going to talk about the Tor services, the Tor service itself, as well as the Tor generator. And I will see you then. Thank you for watching.